Hey students, I've heard some of you have been having problems uploading your finished project files to the Moodle server. The reason for that is the maximum size you can upload to Moodle is about 5 megabytes. And some of you have project folders that are quite, quite a bit larger than that. Let's talk about why. First of all, I have a Hello World project created by Ian that I'm using to, sh to demonstrate here. We can take a look at this by going to the properties, right clicking, going to properties, and see that this overall folder, uh, Hello World folder, is over 21 megabytes in size. So it's quite large, a little too large to upload. So what we're going to do um, is go ahead and cite it and show you what the problem is. First of all, if we take and make sure that our size, uh, file size is showing here. We can see that this one file in particular is quite large. It's a SQL server file. It ends in the letters SDF. This file is not necessary because we're not using a SQL database for our project. So you can just go ahead and take that and delete it. And right there we've gotten rid of over 5 megabytes in the size of the folder. Then we come up here and we see this IPCH folder. If you don't have one of these um, then, uh, then don't worry about it but uh, many of you I see do have this folder in your project folder. And this also, if I look at the properties of it, is quite large, over 14 megabytes. And so that can also be deleted because it's not needed by our project. Okay, That gives us the debug folder, which is uh, 1.5 megabytes, um, but you don't really need to delete that one. You should be able to upload your project with a debug folder in it. So if I go up one more folder here. Now I can see this. I've reduced the overall size of this project from over 21 megabytes now to about 1.6. And so that's going to be a lot more uh, doable for uploading to Moodle. Okay. So then what Ian would do is he once he's deleted the oversized files and folders, he then needs to come and right click on his project folder and go ahead and say send to compressed zip folder. Okay. And once he does that, it should go ahead and create, um, Take a, it'll, what, what it's doing is copying everything in this folder and putting it in a new file called uh, hello world.zip. And this is the one then that Ian would turn in, that particular file. We see that it's been compressed and it's quite small now and he shouldn't have any problem uploading it. Um, one thing I do want you to know, however, is um, let's go over into Visual Studio. I'm going to go ahead and open Ian's Hello World project, which is right here. By the way, when you want to open a project like that, the, pro the file you choose is the SLN file. That stands for Solution. And I'm going to go ahead and open his project here. And we see now I can see his files and all. There's his Hello World. He did a great job coding it. And it works just fine. I debug it build it and debug it and it works great. However, when I debug it, build it and debug it like I'm doing right now and running the program, interestingly enough, once I do that, if I come back over here to my folder, aha, here's the folder where I just deleted the SDF and I just deleted the IPCH. Those two, uh, that file and folder have now been recreated by Visual Studio. That's fine, don't worry about it. Um, every time you build and debug the, the um, program, it will recreate any missing files, and that's just the way it works. Um, so uh, what you need to do is get your program working perfect, uh, build and debug it one last time, and then come in and delete the oversized files and folders, and then turn it in, and you shouldn't have any problem. If you have any more questions, please contact me, and keep those projects coming. You guys are doing great.